welcome back to the channel yes each and every week we are here out on the streets pounding guys i am here i'm getting ready to uh mount up we had a couple ladies from south florida the south was uh east coast wind sisters east coast wind sisters princess java and naughty girl they did the four corners um they left here may 15th and they came back a couple days ago so we're gonna go have a celebration for them um the weather is looking kind of s-h-i-t-t-y and it's starting to drizzle i don't know if you can see the drizzle so i think i'm gonna go ahead and just jump in my car and head on over to the celebration but today we are going to celebrate them we're going to get their intake on the ride we're going to talk to them ask them how the ride was uh you know kind of get some advice from them and everything like that so unfortunately i'm not gonna ride my bike because i don't feel like getting wet and my knee been bothering me and i guess that's why my knee was bothering me because it was gonna freaking rain so i'm gonna take safety measures jump in my car uh i don't know what the weather's looking like uh 20 minutes from here south in miami but we're gonna go over there hopefully um you know it's drier in those areas and we'll get some other bikers and other people that are gonna come up come over show up show out and celebrate these ladies so again thank you guys for tuning in if you haven't already subscribed to the channel make sure you subscribe to the channel like the video share the videos and comment on the videos the rain is coming down harder guys so i'm gonna get about this rain i'll talk to you in a few I'm back i'm back we made it over to uh the home of one of the young ladies and um just waiting on everybody to get here as you can see the rain has stopped behind me it's no rain but it is very dark and i did get a lot of rain coming over so um i'm okay with uh with my with my choice of not riding so we are just waiting for the three young ladies to get here so that we can um you know go ahead and start and get some action gonna get uh get mom on see if we can get mom on the on the horn sisters brothers if anybody want to say anything husbands it's all good y'all we just here we just celebrate it's a celebration um again we just big up big upping our ladies from south florida that did the uh four corners ride um you know just letting them know that we are super proud of them that they have a huge support system and you know bike life this is what it is we support each other uh especially the miami bike life so you know it's always been like that this is what we're gonna do and that's that
Yeah, it's normal, right? Listen, I told y'all when I left the house, y'all saw it in the beginning. The rain had done started coming, and you saw when I was on the expressway, it was pouring down raining. A lot of these ladies, a lot of these gentlemen, they still got on their bike. They were north, they were south. They geared up. They put on their gear because they had to come out. They said, show up on your bike. <laughs> they said, show up on your bikes. So they showed up on their bikes, no matter what. So as you can see it is still raining you can see the clouds in the back in this area here it is starting to drizzle so we are uh gonna go in the house everybody is here to celebrate these ladies guys so this is monumental we are extremely excited and happy for them um, my name is Pooh Bear congratulations to them for riding around the state they had an RV but it was a motorcycle <laughs> <laughs> We are back. We, we are back. We are back, guys. As you can see, everybody is rolling in. Miami Bike Set is here to represent these ladies. Congratulations. <laughs> East Coast Wind Sisters have completed their very first, and I'm saying first because I know these heifers going to go out and do it again, their very first 48 state. I mean, I'm, ooh, no, sorry, not 48 They did us. four quarters. I tend to the end okay. and mile marker zero to mile marker one. So that is I 95 from beginning to end. So again, congratulations, ladies. Yay! 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 And thank you for letting me put y'all's story out because people are interested. I think this is very important for ladies that want to do it. You guys, I, I promise you, I was inspired the whole time. Thank y'all for putting y'all videos. Thank y'all for responding when I texted. I was not worried about y'all, but I was very concerned because I was just praying for y'all and rooting for y'all and hoping that, hoping for the best. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. So let's talk about from the beginning. Let's talk about the planning stages. So how did the planning start? How, what was the process behind planning? How did y'all say, hey, let's go on this day? Who idea was it? Who put this together? Who said, hey, I want to do I 10 to the end. I want to do 95 and I want to do four corners. Speak up. Guilty. Um, we have a Win Sisters group. So about a year ago, I put in there, hey, ladies, who want to do the four corners? Okay, um, I, I want to do the 48 states too. I was trying to combined and um they say black say well why can't we do both when we're out there and i say well i talked to a few people um phoenix from um bessie bell she say it could be done she said but it's gonna be hard but it, she said we did it y'all y'all can do it i mean y'all ain't no we know better than y'all you know so i put in the chat who all want to go so we had a few ladies say nah 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 and then um we had one lady, baby girl from Born Free Riders, she said, if you go in June, I'll go too. But um, it may work for me because of days off. And how many ladies in the group? Um, it's about what? 16. So 20, 16 ladies and three took that ride. So anybody that ride, y'all always know, when you start the ride, you got 16, right? All 16 want to do it. As you get closer to the ride, now you're down to 10. As you get even closer to the ride, now you're down to three. Not saying that that's what happened with y'all, but usually that's the process. Right? So what, what I did was I um, I had attempted this ride twice. The first time I was with Lakeisha Taylor. Um, Lakeisha Taylor from Jackson. And we went as far as Maine. We both realized this, we're not ready. Gas was six, seven dollars then. Oh, that was actually no, no, that was like two, three years ago. Okay. Because we lost our money. Okay. Because once you register for the ride, you got two years to complete. Okay. So the second year, I was supposed to go with finesse on one fix. Mm -hmm. uh, a month, a, a month prior to leaving, she said I switched job. Can't go. So now that two hundred gone, that, that money gone because mm -hmm. I only had two years to do. It. So then that's when I put in the chat, hey. 
So now I register again. Us three registered. That's when you know it's real. Mm -hmm. When they register. So the, the, now they changed the rules. You got one year to do it. Okay. So we had really had up until November to do it. Mm -hmm. So um, I still had my routes on when Piper, Tamika Wade, shout out to you, when she helped me do the route. Mm -hmm. um, and I added like a million things to see. Mm -hmm. Now and let me ask you this. With, with now that you established that all three of you were going, mm -hmm. how did you begin the planning process? Did you set a budget? Did you guys have meetings like yeah. every month? We like, had several meetings. Yeah. Several what did those meetings. meetings consist of? Like, what advice could you give other people as far as preparing for the trip? Well, I lucked up because this is my first ride, first cross country, first county, first time. Woo! First, first, yeah. first time leaving first out of the time. state, first time, everything. So she is amazing. Yeah. Big yeah. up, big yeah. up to her. You don't get that a lot. Thank so you, very, very, very proud of the guidance of my sisters because they went to Las Vegas. They had a list of things to bring and what you should and shouldn't have on your bike. So mm -hmm. I was able to use that, utilize that list to prepare myself. Nice. Thank you, Les. Saving yeah. money. How about saving, saving money? money? When she brought it to my attention. Um, from that day, I started saving, trying to put in money. Um, do you have a method? Card. Do you have a method for saving? Like, I always you... have a method. It doesn't matter. I have different kind of methods of saving. Okay. Um, I'm just a saver mm -hmm. for any occasion. So I started to save from there, um, going forth. And like you said, we already had the list from Vegas, so I had a lot of the things that we needed to get up to get on the ride. The only thing I think I did not have, well, I bought extra riding jeans. So those that want the ride. I have riding jeans. I'm not sponsoring cycle gear, but cycle gear have riding jeans. I have riding jeans just for riding. You know, are they um, are they for shaky women? They're not for shake world. However, you, if you shake me, I mean, you just gotta go up a thigh. You gonna look like a boy. That's what you just gonna. You ain't gonna look like no girl, right? I had riding hey. pants, um, okay. which are shapely. Um, they stretch. Okay. So, and I got that also not, um, you know, endorsing cycle gear. Okay. <laughs> right. Just want to make sure. Okay. All right. Now, did you guys have a maximum or a minimum amount of money to save each? So did no. somebody say, hey, make sure y'all have at least $6,000, $7,000, $5,000. Because if you break down or something happened or you got to catch a plane home or whatever the case may be, you need to make sure you got your money. Yeah. Yes. Sexy Black gave us a breakdown of $3,000. Okay. Um, approximately $2,000. Um, $1,500 was allocated for gas. Um, three twenty, I think, was allocated for food. Awesome. Um, like a thirty day, you know, and fifty dollars a night for uh, hotels each. Okay. Each, you know, so it was, it was, and then the rest was miscellaneous. Nice. In case something mm -hmm. happens. And, awesome. Mm -hmm. Budgeting is very important. Yes, it is. So very important. If you think about taking a trip, make sure you have your money together. Ain't nothing wrong or nothing worse than being on a road with somebody that don't have enough money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. What about your physical and your mental state? How did you prepare for that? So did you go to the gym? Did you have to work out? What about being hydrated? Yes, 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 yes. I, um, I worked out. I work out and I continuously work out. But um, hydration was a major part of this whole entire trip. Cold, hot, staying hydrated was the most important. And I would say stay hydrated. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Being hydrated, I stay hydrated. I'm not a person that drink water. But I must say I drunk the most water on this trip. I just drunk water, 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 water. And what the water does is go through you. Every gas stop, I have to use the bathroom. I know a lot of people say you just got to go gas and go. Yeah. I couldn't gas and go. Yeah, I had to get must. off the bike and use the restroom every I learned, time. I learned if you're not using the bathroom at every gas stop, you dehydrate. Yep. So using the bathroom so is a must. Me because my cup holder was improperly installed by someone who shall remain nameless. <laughs> 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 and so I would only drink water when we had stuff. Oh wow! So what about now? You didn't do physical activity prior right. to. So how did that? Did I, that? I mean, I worked for the post office. Did okay. you feel anything on your body? No, it was no? the same. Okay, just out of shape. All right, <laughs> <laughs> just out of shape. He just out of shape. What about uh your support system um prior to the ride? So what did what the feedback of your spouses, your kids, you know your family members, how, what was the oh, feedback when you told them, hey, I think that, or not think, because y'all already had made the decision, right. I'm going to go and do um, these rides. 
what was the feedback? What, what feedback was, was positive. Um, I got a lot of information being that this is my first time from yourself, you know, speaking to you at the Brown Robin of different um, Rare Breed members. Um, I can't remember everybody, but it was a lot of support. Yes, good. Definitely. What about your support? Well, I got a lot of support um, and a lot of information from yourself. The I exit, that was a great tool for me. Oh, okay. at the, almost at the end of the trip, it tells you where the state lines are, tell you yes. how, where the um, gas stops is. So we didn't have to think about, okay, I'm at 60 miles. I can, I can, we can go another 20, 30 miles before we stop the gas. Right. So support from my husband and a lot from riding with the breeze that, that helped me along this journey a, a lot. So big up to Rare Breed. Yes, yes. Right. <laughs> what about you? With me, um, mine was somewhat different. Um, I, I had my Paraline sisters uh, praying for me. Um, Maureen, um, Marva, Jim Broom. I had Ma um, Maureen, um, Silky. I had all of these ladies praying for me. We pray Mondays and Fridays. Um, my club, I, I told them and they was like, yeah, okay, we here for you. You know, they sent donations. We also did a big raffle donation. So a lot of people who won the raffle. Um, to a rare breed <laughs> one. <laughs> that would be Hammer, the vice president. <laughs> and DJ <laughs> Oh, wow. And, I no wonder why I didn't get a call. And also, um, <laughs> oh. one of Sister Big Bones won. Okay. So, nice. um, nice. and, and, um, with me, uh, Hey, I'm a 51-year-old baby. I'm a, the baby of my family. Um, I'm really the strongest, but I'm the baby. And my mama worry about me. So I had to lie about where I was going. So, you know, my sisters, they knew. You know, my brother, he knew. But, you know, it's just different. Hey, be safe out there. You know what I'm saying? You need us. Um, my bestie Smurfy told me, hey, you need me. You call me. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, uh, I learned from y'all, snapshot. I learned from, from Queens, Queens, you know, Queens of the South, South Florida chapter. I, I learned from y'all, Miss Sassy, my men, oh, mental. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I, yeah. that's my go to person, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely shout out to you. Know, out you know, this goes yeah. on, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Ursula from the Bessie Bell Cypher, yeah. yeah. you know, all of these ladies was in my ear. Sonny, Sonny and her husband, yeah. Sonny Bell, mm -hmm. Sonny and David Bell, oh my mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's so many people, like I thank them on Facebook, but I'm thanking y'all again. Y'all, y'all instilled a lot into us, you know, a lot into us. Made us want to do it, you know? Yeah. And, um, we wanted our own legacy, you know? Yeah. We, we didn't want to ride on nobody's coattails. Right. We wanted our own legacy. And so y'all did it. And when we did, did it, you know, with, did. The, with the grace of God, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be talking to y'all today. Anything could have happened. Nothing mm -hmm. major happened Thank that God. we couldn't sit here and talk to y'all about. Thank you, Lord. Thank but you. But we yeah. have, we have testimonies. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get to those testimonies. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So support is real. Support is, is most important. Um, you know, these ladies, they made a decision. They reached out to their spouses and their family members, their club members, and they got that support 100%. So, um, you know, moving on to the ride, the first day, you guys go down to Key West, right? You guys yeah. made your ride to Key West. You get up and you go to where? The booth. You went down to the booth. After Key West, where y'all went? The next stop North was Carolina. North Carolina. North Carolina. North Carolina. That's where y'all betted in North Carolina. Yeah. So I'm assuming from, from, from Key West to North Carolina, y'all was good. Adrenaline. I don't think we were good. We kind of started. We started late in the afternoon because I do work overnight. Mm -hmm. So I, we left about one, two o'clock. I got up for work. I got an hour of sleep. Woo! Hour of sleep. We head down to the key with We got to the buoy. Your girl went down. That was the devil. You know, we rolled around the buoy. My bike went down. Boom. Oh, down. Like, down. Yeah, I think that was oh, the first. Oh, I thought you went down. Boy. Like, went to sleep. You were tired. You know I'm tired. Yeah. I'm tired. So, shook it off. And we um we bed down at we bed down at, at Broadway. The beginning. You the beginning were, of ninety five. Okay. The beginning of ninety five. And that wasn't the plan. That was the plan. Oh, okay. So that, that was, was the plan. plan. But okay. I had to ride through it because you know I have to be a soldier for my girl. Right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Right. You know I can't show no weakness, but I was very tired that yeah. first day. Wow. Yeah, it was the Wednesday. Wow. And we bed down at Broadway. Well, I went down. <laughs> and then you <laughs> went down. <laughs> Wait, in Key West? No, no, no. Broadway is. Broadway. <laughs> we had Broadway and we had to turn around. So who so picked y'all bikes up when y'all went down? That's the sign that we have. <laughs> yeah. So we, I was trying to make a U-turn, a, a short one, not the, the one that I should have made. Uh -huh. And boom. So I was like, okay. You were psyched. 
No. Oh, okay. Just, <laughs> things happen. Things, things happen. happen. Okay. That was the that was the first date. That was the first day. When I first, she went there. So after these things happen on the first day, how are you feeling? Are you feeling maybe we shouldn't go? Are you feeling more mm -hmm. more adrenaline? Or more adrenaline. Okay. okay. I just think that's, that's just yeah. the right, way we're right. trying to stop okay. us. Okay. Know? It ain't nothing stopping us. It's just the beginning. We're going to keep it moving forward. Right. Exactly. All right. And my, your very first time, you was out of state. First day, you was, I know your adrenaline was pumping. Yes, it was. So Once we hit that Georgia, Georgia state, state line. line. <laughs> I did a dance. That's our first time. Our first time. I, I think we got pictures. <laughs> go down. The pictures of her at the Georgia State Line. Yes, so y'all yes, see yes. her pictures when they hit the Georgia State Line. So that was her very first. Yes. First. Very first. Her very, very first, first yes. State Line. So and congratulations. And then on, sky was the limit. So okay. It's just on forward. All right. So nobody had no doubt. Let's turn around. Let's do something else. So we just going to keep no. going. No, no, we gonna go on. with the story. We'll tell you when that doubt came in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now that y'all made it to to the first destination, which was Maine, well, second destination, second destination. Yes, which was Maine, mm -hmm. thinking about turning around. <laughs> so there's my doubt. No, so there's that, my doubt. No, so that, my that, doubt corner, question. that corner was um that corner was hard for me going to Maine because of the steep the steep hill to get up it. I had been warned by Jen Brew. To, listen, for instance, you scared of hills. You ain't, how you gonna get up that hill? Right. So I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get up that hill. You know what I'm saying? So when we when we took the hill, when we went, them two went up like slow. Hey, hey, you know, <laughs> Rocky and Muhammad Ali, they went up there, right? <laughs> so so look at me. I'm thinking I'm finna slow roll it on the oh, man, that hill ain't all that. Let me go on up there. I'm thinking the hill. And you stop. I'm, I'm thinking the hill was actually where the picture was supposed to be taken. Mm. No, you got to get up to the hill. To get to the picture. Mm -hmm. So I stopped on the hill. Mm -hmm. I said, oh shoot. Oh shoot. So I'm looking behind me to see if anything coming. And then other bikers, because you know, that's what people come up there mm -hmm. for. So I don't know what made me do this, because I usually just panic. And somebody usually come have to come get me off the hill. <laughs> I ain't lying. <laughs> I'm like, nah, you ain't nobody can come get you off the hill. They were looking at me like, you, you better hurry up. up. We ain't coming to get right. you off the hill. <laughs> so now the girl said, come on, Prince. You can do it. You can do it. So I, I walked it back. I don't know what made me do this. I walked it back down. Because I had, I, I had a choice. So you was on the hill and you walked the back I down? I had no choice. Oh, and then you went back Before up. I've done it, well, I got stuck on the hill. And I been able to maneuver it up. Uh -huh. But I was so close to I could walk. And you know what? Let me walk it back down. Mm. And then I tried it again. And my second time going up there, now I'm selling out. Oh, forget your bitches. You know what I mean? Forget y'all help us, you know. But mind you, I ain't finished. I don't stop and still got some more hill to go. Oh, Lord. So then I just gunned it and went on around that way. But so at this time, y'all off y'all bike? Yeah, they're watching. Y'all yeah. off the bike. I tell you, you, you have to ride that bike at this hill. I, I can't come get you. Get some gas. I'm not going to get some gas. Get some gas. Get some gas. <laughs> So that, that, that was my matter, matter of Wasco story. Oh, oh wow. wow. She made it though. She, she made, made it. it. Oh wow. <laughs> so that, that was, so we got pictures from that too. That's so this, right. So yeah. this is them at Mal Marker 1. 2. 2. That's Mal Marker 1. No. Second oh, that's that's Mal Marker 1. one. Mal Marker 1. Right. Mal Marker oh, 1, but that's stop number that's 2. two. Right. And that is the complete of I 95. So mm -hmm. they did zero, which was um, Key West, I-95, zero, and then they did Maine, which is Mile Marker 1. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. So let's head on over to the East Coast. East Coast or West Coast. West Coast. West Coast. I heard about snow. I got video from snow. <laughs> uh, I saw some snow pictures. I heard about a windstorm, yeah. a snow, a sandstorm. Yeah. How was that? Yeah. Uh, the windstorm came first, and that yeah. was very, very trying. I think that was my move. And rain, and y'all got rain. rain. But we we maneuvered through the rain fine. That that was our uh, main concern was the rain. Mm -hmm. But um, we got through it just fine. We we were headed right, and then that wind, that gust. Oh my goodness! Harley did not teach me <laughs> how to fight the wind. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I'm fighting the wind. I'm fighting the wind. I'm fighting the wind. My arm is getting exhausted. I can't hold mm -hmm. the bike up much longer. So I find an overpass and I pull over. I'm like, Texas back. I can't do it. I just let my bike go. It didn't fall all the way down, but she did kind of tilt over. Um, and it was like, come on, uh, princess and sexy black came over to me. Like, come on, we got to go through it. Our pit crew found us a quicker 
So um we just like okay we're gonna do it and she humming hymns and I'm praying hard as I can and we all just praying and Aww. we made it to the hotel and I promise you we got through those doors. We fell to the floor. Wow! Yeah. It was like thank you, Jesus. So we, that was like you know. I, I would say excited. that was our. You know, you have spiritual moments in the trip. Oh my I would say that was our most spiritual moment because I think we needed it at our, at, at our point in our ride because that Manawasa main point was a was a trying situation for yeah, all of us. But when we got to that hotel through that windstorm, I grabbed her and I grabbed her and I said, thank you, G. Wow. Because the winds was going to be like 50 miles. It was lifting our bikes. It was lifting our bikes. It's like, I'm telling you, you was on this lane. That that one was shifting you all the way over. It was very strong. And I don't care how fast you was going. It was still lifting. So I I started singing. I I said the Lord's Prayer. I said the 23rd Psalm. Then I started singing. I said, God, please. Let that hotel because remember that that was that wasn't our bed right, not our bed right. But we had no choice, so I said, God, let that hotel be on the right. <laughs> you know, when we get off, yeah. And um, it was on the right, and it was, it was go right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. once we parked and fell on a floor, it was nice and toasty, mm-hmm. and it was nice and warm. Yeah, and, you know, these these people looking at us at like, that point was it cold outside? Yeah, yeah. 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 so yeah. they looking at us like, what? and where was this? Do you remember what state? That was in um. Minnesota, no. South Dakota? That was in the South Dakota. Before we got to South Dakota, it was in Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Oh, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah. Wisconsin. Good shit. Yeah, I want to say Wisconsin. Okay. That's when they had that horrible, um, horrible We was trying to get the storm. We was trying to get the South Dakota. Yeah. So y'all yeah. went from yeah. one storm to yeah. the other. Yeah, we was yeah. trying to get the South Dakota. We were trying Dakota. to get the South Dakota, but we could not make it now. the South Dakota. Wow. Yes. So that's what happened. That was a delay. I think that they only did like 300 and something now. Yeah. But since he was everything, I mean, the winds was too, too, too strong. Too, yeah, too strong. What did y'all eat every night? Um, Ubers. We found some Uber for us. I mean, yeah. okay. So y'all ate good. We ate Not good. good. Not good. <laughs> good, good enough. Decent. Decent. Not good. Good. <laughs> she bougie. <laughs> she, what you want? A steak, lobster? Yeah, something oh, like that. We had eventually. Yes. Now at that point, was it uh maybe we should turn around, go home, or was it still let's keep going? Let's keep going. Let's keep going. That was the whole the love of right there. Chug it, chug it, chug it. Now, I don't home. I really no, so I really don't think going home was an option, an option for us. Point, Good. Right? None of us never said let's just go home. Good. Good. So it was let's go, this is what we set out yep. to do. Let's do it. And let's do it. And let's do it. We're gonna okay. come together as one. We're gonna put aside all our differences, all our feelings that we may have, and we're gonna we gonna count this. We're gonna let them see that we're gonna do this. Yeah. Huh? Legacy. 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 So now besides the weather being of I'm sure that was a frustration, besides the weather, mm-hmm. what are the frustrations? Were there longer um gas stops? Were there somebody riding too slow, somebody riding too fast? Mountains. Uh, Mountains are completely the mountain slows oh, you down. Oh yeah, that. That 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 in the dark. We did catch one, uh, maybe one night of dark, mm-hmm. one or two nights dark, of dark. dark. But we don't really ride in the dark because mm-hmm. I I can't have no vision in mm-hmm. the dark. So um speaking of dark, did you guys see any wildlife? Oh, coming from Manawasa. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I so many deer. Deer. <laughs> the really? deer actually in the in the in, in the middle of the road, like they were playing or something. Mm. You know, they were crossing. In, Indiana. in the middle of the road, playing. Yeah, yeah. Indiana. They were crossing. In the daytime? In the daytime. In the daytime. That's scary. That's scary. In the daytime. Because you're used to seeing deer at night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so right. when you see them in the daytime, it's like, what the hell? They were playing or something. I don't know. Bad being on kids was out there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. You had a lot of roadkill. A lot. A lot of roadkill. Did you recognize any of it? It's all deer. Oh, yeah. All deer. Oh, yeah. All deer. Yeah. yeah. Maybe some raccoons here and there, but. Yeah, but it was mostly deer. Mostly deer. Like, on the yeah. side of the road. Hmm. What kind of snacks do y'all had? Which I snacks, snacks, you know, I had snacks. I know. Food, this, is, this is the queen of snacks. You know, I had all type of snacks. I had like maybe about Hopefully we got a pistol. Of, Hopefully we got a pistol. bag of chips. chips. You know, I had, <laughs> I mean, I had now, later, I, I had fruit snacks. You know, I had and, pickles um, and I had covered pickles. raisins, chocolate, yeah. um, white coated raisins that, mm, you know. Now with the pickles, I'm glad you bring up the pickles. Do you normally eat pickles or do you eat pickles while you're on the road? I don't eat pickles. It was um something that was just brought to me by Sassy that we did yes. pickle juice when we went to Vegas yes. the last time. Yeah. So I brought like a, a mini jar, put them in Ziploc bags and, Perfect. you know, had pickles and pickle juice throughout the journey. Yeah. 
and the pickles are for the cramping, cramping and uh, with dehydration also. Mm -hmm. So good, perfect. Y'all had that. Um, gear, heated gear. Oh my goodness, heated a gear. Is a must. It's a it must. helps, but it it's, it's not a hundred percent. It helps. The heating gear does work. Let me explain how it works. Anybody got heated grip? I have yeah, heated grip. Okay. okay. You put on nice thermo, mm -hmm. you put on your heated pants over it, mm -hmm. you put on your riding jeans, you put on your chaps, <laughs> and then you put on your rain gear. It's a process. You would not feel anything. Wow. The only thing that I did not get was my heated socks. My feet was frozen coming out of Montana. Mm. It was 29 degree weather and my feet was frozen. In yeah. June, twenty nine yeah. degrees in May, May, in May. 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 That's where we got. That's, that's where we got the snow. Twenty nine yeah. degrees. Yeah. My right. feet was solid frozen, like a rock. Now let's go back to the snow. When y'all walked out of the hotel room that day that and saw the snow, we thought we was leaving. <laughs> Who's ready to go? Y'all didn't even look. Happy. Nobody looked out the window. Nobody checked the weather. It had just so y'all didn't even snowing. know that it was snowing. They didn't even. So y'all just walked outside, and all of a sudden, it was like what in the entire. Well, you know, actually, our pit crew did tell us that it was gonna snow. Mm. The snow was gonna start about four o'clock that morning. It didn't actually start snowing to about six o'clock, and it was snowing, snowing. I thought it was just gonna be a little drizzle, but it. And another, another hour, my my bike was covered with snow. Wow. Yeah. You know, me, she, she said, she said, sexy man, we can't ride in this snow. Yeah, you know, I'm ready to ride. I'm ready to ride. I'm ready to ride. I'm ready to go. I said, um, ladies, we can't make it. It's like snowing. I, I was glad I made it back to the hotel to come. I said, yeah, we're not going to be able to ride in this wow. yeah. So we had to bed down again. Another, oh, day, another, another day, another day, another day. Lost. So did it snow that whole day? Yeah, the whole, whole entire day. day. The whole day. Wow. Yeah. So what did y'all do while y'all Just laid in the bed and watched the snow all, all day. I, I, mean, I wanted to get in the heated pool, but I don't want to get in the bed. I think at that moment, too, that was a moment for us to come together. And to bitch. To, to, to let everybody know your feelings. Let me tell you. Let me tell you about you. <laughs> I'll tell you about you. <laughs> and it worked. 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 Y'all yeah. were rejuvenated. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And ready for the next day. Ready for the next day. Okay. All right. All right. So back to the gear. So I froze. You froze. I had needed gear, but I my, I didn't have the, the socks. Um the gloves was uncomfortable to put up under my other gloves. Um so but I, I froze. I, I it was okay. I had, I, I had the socks. I had everything. I had everything. I wanted everything. My husband don't kill me, but it's okay. I bought everything. <laughs> and um, what I did do is what uh, Chris says, she, what she gave us were some vinyl gloves. Yeah. So I put that over my yeah. gloves mm -hmm. to protect it from the rain because it was and also that rain. Yeah. And that kind of helped me. Yeah. I didn't make it so bulky because I couldn't ride yeah, with bulky sense. gloves on top. Yes, right. So I would say that. Yeah, yeah my foot froze. So, do you feel like you need more gear? I, I think it was the um the undergarments. Um, um, I think with that, it's the more like ladies, ladies, the more um going. the more you do, the the better it works. Mm. But I can't ride like that. Right. You know, I can't. I'm yeah, still. I got. I'm, I got ten shirts on, yeah, you can't and I'm stuff. freezing. Yeah. Because my my heavy coat would have stopped me from maneuvering the way I needed to, so I left it off. So it's 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 all in preparing. It's all in pre preparing. Okay. Yeah, because um, I I feel like the the bottom and the top did they more or less its its job, mm -hmm. but the gloves was a waste of money for me. Did you have the heated gloves? I had the heated gloves. Wow. It was a waste of money for me. Wow. Because I I put on the heated glove, I put the um vinyl on top, mm -hmm. and then the uh, heavy Harley gear on top, and it didn't work out. I was still freezing. Hmm. Hmm. And you was good. I was actually I was sweating a little bit. You were sweating? Yeah. Cause you were so hot. I was so hot. Mm -hmm. okay. If you if, if you can con co compose that heat in, yeah, it won't go out. Right. So right. if you give give it weight to let out, that's where the wind comes in and makes you makes you cold. For sure. That's yeah. why I can't pack with so many different clothes right. and I'm not. You ain't I'm feel not, stuck. No, I didn't. Well, with my jacket, yeah, but I'm used to it already. Right, right, right. It's better cold than. Yeah, for sure. So nothing you did not have or think that you need to have. So no, you know what? I, 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 
What about a Bluetooth? Did y'all communicate with each other on Bluetooth? Yes. Yes. But we already heard you. Oh, Bluetooth. <laughs> we already heard your Bluetooth For two fields in a row. Yeah. We yeah. the baggage last year, no Bluetooth. <laughs> Four corners, no Bluetooth. She had a Bluetooth, and we came here today, and the Bluetooth worked. Go yeah. figures. <laughs> Shout out to my helmet. <laughs> Bluetooth was amazing. That was amazing. So that was a way for you all to keep contact mm -hmm. with, you know, with each other. We also had With your, um, with your, um, yeah, I was pit crew. Pit crew. Yeah. With your pit crew and with your spouses and your children mm -hmm. and other family. And even communicating like on the road, um, it's just a matter of using hand signals, letting them know, hey, listen, we're getting off right here. So this exit, we're getting off. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, not everybody has, uh, Bluetooth. So we had to make it work. Yeah. All right. Well, I was going to ask y'all what kept y'all going. Um, I think we kind of went over, you know, y'all kind of got y'all feelings out. Um, you know, y'all wanted y'all own legacy. You know, that's what kind of motivated y'all to just keep going and, you know, say that I'm going to do this y'all going to. So I ain't got to ask them that question because we already know what kept them going. Jesus. <laughs> and Jesus. Jesus. And prayer. Yeah. Was yeah. on the main prayer. line. <laughs> and you know the encouraging word from my godmother okay, yes, yes. every day every those encouraging words yes. I needed yes. that in my life yes. Yes. I was drained I was exhausted I needed those but, words from even snapshot you know that that helped lift me up so much you know yeah. you know those maybe, messages maybe bounce got, a little yeah. bit you know yeah. good yeah. check it off on this make sure it was good yeah. 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 that's how yeah. it made you feel real yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 Everybody here was thinking about y'all. Yeah. Like everybody. Yeah. I'm telling you, when I tell they you we was checking in on y'all yeah. Facebook and y'all yeah. Instagram. Yeah. It was just so much. I mean, I'm sorry if I didn't shout out to everybody. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Much. Yeah. Like I said, I tried to include everybody in my post. Um, Miss Prissy out of uh Tennessee. She yeah. kept saying, You got it, baby. You got it, baby, you know, and she she was just telling me how proud she is of me because she know where I start, yeah. you know, and she know I, I yeah. usually don't leave Florida without Miss Sassy. Mm -hmm. So for me to leave Florida without Miss Sassy, you know, it was different. I don't know. think she left without Miss Sassy. Miss Sassy <laughs> okay, was there. Oh, the whole time. Every, the whole morning. Morning. Every yeah. morning. She was in there physically, but mentally she yeah. was there. Yeah. You know? yeah. She was there. Yeah, she was. You're not going to say she was. Nice. She was there. She was there. <laughs> nice. <laughs> now, I know we talked about a budget. We talked about a budget. Um, did you guys spend more money, more money, like cash wise or credit card wise? How was that? I, I think That's I could say. Because I have, I got my receipts. I'm going to add it up and see. But you know, as we were out there, people were still sending us donations. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So I kind of broke even. I don't know. I think I came home with about two thousand and something dollars in cash. Woo! Cash still in my oh, pocket. Oh, still. I don't know. I'm a, I'm I don't like to up. use cash. I like to get the rewards on them credit cards. Right. So, and that's oh, what I like to do. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. to register with the gas station was a big, yeah. uh, big plus. And I and I Did got registered prior to yes. getting to yes. those. Yes. I got yes. that tip from Porsche Black Girls Ride mm -hmm. uh, to get all the gas station apps. And then I was already a Shells member anyway. Right. But um, Portia Taylor, thank you for that. She told me that uh, four, five years ago. Mm -hmm. I was think Shells I member too. Every time I put that code in, it say, hello, princess. I said, I'm not princess. That's <laughs> 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 it. It all went a long way. Right. Okay. You know? Now, give yeah. or take, how much would y'all say y'all spent on the road? Oh, it, it was, a, I'm going to say at least... 15? At least 15. 15 Minimal. Really? Yeah. I'm going to get back with you. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it, it definitely made me, maybe was more, but I I got, I know I had five in this account, ain't five in there no more. I know I had nine over here, ain't nine over there no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I had cash on me. Right. So that ain't there no more. Right. So I I get back with you on that. That's because she bought a lot of souvenirs. Oh. Souvenirs. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. I, I, I think what helped. I think what helped us was the raffle. The so raffle. The raffle, raffle covered about one. nine nights of our hotel stay, so we yeah. didn't have to pay nice. for nine nights. Nice. Mm -hmm. So I think we only came about out of our pocket maybe maybe seven nights of hotel stay, yeah. which is about seven hundred. You so that's if you look at yeah. I would think maybe two two thousand. The gas from Cali. About two thousand okay, yeah. was a whole yeah. other story. Ridiculous, huh? Oh. Yeah. Six seven dollars. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, that and then we all had our bike service. Mm -hmm. so that was a couple of hundred. Okay. There. Yeah. Speaking of bikes getting service, that's what y'all did that at the last stop, right? Right before the last, right, 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 before. Yeah. right before the last stop. So we getting into the last stop. What y'all feelings? Like, how you feeling now? Right. You want my really feeling? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Tell us. 
I was exhausted. I had no feelings, no emotions. Mm -hmm. I didn't even care about the fourth corner. Mm -hmm. That's how I felt. And this was before you made it to the fourth That's corner. That's before I made it to the fourth corner. I took a picture. She said, you look like you're in prison. Can we get it. another picture of you? Yeah. I said, I'm right. exhausted. Mm. I am, it's no exciting to be at this point. I was emotionally you know? drained. I five did it for me. <laughs> yeah, I five made made a believer out of me because um the mountains. Okay, five thousand, six thousand feet in the air, death drop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this one here riding them like it's twenty seventh Avenue, <laughs> and she had never twenty <laughs> seventh rode a mountain. You know what I'm wow. saying? So the excitement, the first time for everything. Yeah, the ears popping. Yeah, the ears. So it's like. I don't want to see I five no more. I like God, please no more mountains, no more mountains. And the signs ain't making no better with the truck tilting over. So it, I was like, oh my God. So once I got through I five and I was on the flat ground, let's get this for a point. Okay. Good. So again, congratulations. Thank they you. Made Thank you. They made it. They made it. They made it. Yes. What was the most memorable part about the trip? We'll start with you. Well, I would girl. say, um, my sisters are hilarious. Um, they may not know it, but they're comedians. So in Indiana, we had an incident and the police had to put my sister in the back of the car and, um, the police and the whole Wait, fire department had to help her. Sexy black had to go in the back of the car and princess had the whole fire department in Indiana to help. Just, that was my second time. Oh, we got pictures of that. Yes. Oh, we got pictures and a video of that. What oh happened? My what happened was my tour pack, not my tour pack, your my saddle, saddle bag. bag opened up. So now the girl said, Your saddle bag. And she said, Two things flew out. Something flew out and it was black. Mm. So I'm thinking, Is it that $750 rain gear that I got? I got to go back and get that. I don't know what it is. <laughs> we going back. So she stopped. And we went back. So as I'm going back, you know, and say official use only, uh -huh. I'm thinking I'm official. Ooh. Okay, again, <laughs> and he got you. There you turn. Okay, I didn't even go out and turn. I just figured I'd turn. I saw something black over there. I said, there you go. Boom. So I'm down. And my bike didn't just go down. It went down. It laid down. It was flat. Yes. What? So yes. now we, we're we in Indiana. Now we're flagging the Harley Davidson truck. He kept it moving. <laughs> we're flagging people. We remember now. We're we're black. We're in the middle of Indiana. Ain't nobody really gonna stop for us. Right. You know, we first of all we bikers, so they probably think we're in a game. <laughs> so they nobody stopped. One guy stopped. He said, "I have a bike." He helped us lift the he bike did. up. My clutch was like a U. It bent. It, it, it bent all the way to a U. When it so, fell. When it fell. Wow. So now, once we got the bike up, make a long story short, now the police done came because he done heard it's a small town. He done heard it's a motorcycle. Accident, accident, which it was. Mm. So now he came. That's how he saw her bike first, and then he grabbed her because she was walking to get up. So now we're all back at the police, and he's checking all us all out. And he said, "Do you need rescue? Do you need me to call rescue?" I said, "No, we're okay. My knee is hurting, but we're okay. We gotta go. We gotta get up out of here." So then he said, "Well, I could get somebody to straighten out your 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 clutch. They'll be here in two minutes." I'm like, "Nah, we really gotta go," but they. The fire department came in two minutes because the they had nothing to do wow. in the middle of Indiana. There's yeah. no excitement there. We were there in sighting. Wow. And those guys came, put their iron bar on there, and straightened yeah. it out yeah. real good. So, I mean, that, again, that's, that was nothing but God. That was that was nothing but God. Wow. But yeah. because of her, I got thrown in the back of the police. Yeah, tell us about that. Because I was walking to rescue them to help them pick up her bike off the floor, like five miles up there, out of breath. So I see these deers on my left. Uh oh. They bouncing. I say, I'm on the phone with my husband. I say, what am I do? I say, they coming near me. I say, I don't know what I'm gonna do, baby. I, what if I do? I'm gonna shoot these big deers. I don't know. <laughs> I said, I'm gonna go to jail if I shoot them. I already got my hand on my gun. Wow. Walking, they still, they still going. Baby, I'm family. And then she, the police, rolled up on the side of me, say, get in the car. I said, oh no. Got Did he car. see he saw you with it? No, he didn't. Oh, he was trying to give you a ride. He was trying to give me a ride. Oh, wow. I got in the back of the car. Now, that is hilarious. I'm sweating. I'm already. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know it's a K-9 next to me in the cage. I ain't paying attention to that. But I'm videoing myself in the car. And then we get there. The man caught me riding dirty. Where's your tag? <laughs> that's, a, that's definitely a Miami thing. Anybody <laughs> out of Miami? <laughs> Just think of all the toes you skipped. You know, I've got, got court riding dirty. Did you take your tag? 
No, he did no. not take my tag. I told him my car, my bike was in service before I before we took this trip, and they probably forgot to put my tag back on. That's the same. So I politely went in my bag and got my tag and put it on. He me. helped me put my tag back on. <laughs> it makes more two, three, two, three. Um, it makes goody two shoe over there. That's right. Paid all the toes. Already on. Paid all the toes. Some pass. Thank you. Some pass. So, pro. <laughs> so he let us know. <laughs> he <laughs> said, yeah. he asked. He actually. Hey, I, I had on my vest. Oh, you got you got cuts on. So he's like, oh well, who are you? I mean, like I say, well, Classy P. And he was like, um, well, I've never heard of you. I say. You wouldn't hear of me. We don't. My club don't exist outside of Miami. Because mm. he was actually on a task force that takes down uh, motorcycle games. Mm -hmm. I said you never hear one percent. Yeah, you never yeah. hear about me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So he um, let me help you put your tag back on. So he have to put it. And he said, ladies, don't worry about it. Uh, it's not gonna get dark to nine thirty. That was the last. So, that was the it line. was dark. It was dark about eight thirty. Wow. <laughs> wow. So he let us go, but he did call us in. He called our tag in. Make sure we. Legal. Legit. Wow. Yeah. And what was your most memorable moment on the trip? That was more than deals. That was your most memorable moment. I thought I was going to have That was all y'all most memorable moments. Yes. Well, I had a yeah. lot of memorable moments. I had a lot of memorable moments. Yeah, she got a lot more memorable yeah, moments. <laughs> we, we ain't going to rewind it. Can we, can we talk about it? We can talk about it when we was in Madawaska, man. We're going to take it back. <laughs> you know, we was coming back from Maine and I was telling us, go get dark. I wanted to see the first mile mark. And you wanted the cannabis. And I wanted the Canada sign. I wanted something yeah, to say. <laughs> I wanted something to say that I've been there. So our peer crew kept advising us at a loud pitched voice, get out of Maine. Get out of Maine. Get out of Maine. Okay, we didn't we didn't see no storm coming. Get out of Maine. Get out of Maine. It's dark. You're black. Get out of Maine. So it stormed on us. Wow. It, it stormed on us. None of us could see. So she rides. She rides. She's doing a hundred or better. Okay. In the rain and nobody Loud can see. Dot com. Yes. Okay. She behind us. She doing ninety nine. Okay. So now remember now. I can't see. I can't see rain or no rain. Miss Sassy, no, I can't see. It don't matter. I can't see. Glasses, no glasses. My mom messed my my eyes up. Whole family actually. So now I caught up as much as I could. I couldn't no more. Mm. I couldn't do a hundred because I can't see. So I backed up completely. I fell back completely. Wow. They was out of my sight. Wow. All I could see them doing this. That's it. I ain't see no more. So now I'm by myself. Okay. So now I'm scared. I'm panicking. Um. No Bluetooth. No Bluetooth. Okay. <laughs> I'm crying. You What's know? the weather like? It's cold. 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 It's uh, her job got us a hotel nearby, so we didn't have to go to Bangor, Maine like we had planned. Okay. But remember, I got Bangor, Maine in my GPS. Yeah. So in my mind, I got 91 miles to ride by myself, mm. and I can't see. Mm. So I was riding. So now I see a sign that say 95 this way. I said, you know what? If I go that way, at least I know I get to the gas station. Then I can try to find them. Yeah. Okay. But it's too I was going too fast. So now I gotta go turn around. Oh my god. So we already know about U turn. Okay? So now I'm going out there to turn around. I don't, in the rain. In the rain. In the dog. So I don't turn around on the dog road, no lights, no nothing. So I don't turn around on this dog road. Now I'm on a cliff. Now I'm on a hill. Oh my lord. Okay, I'm on a hill now. So snapshot, if you come across that hill, you're gonna kill me. Because you don't see. Me. Right. So now I'm on a hill. I'm praying, I'm crying. God, I don't wanna die on this hill. The only thing I can think about is my mom. Because I figured if something happened to me, that's who was going to hurt the worst. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? In spite of whoever loved me. Something happened to Princess, Miss Phyllis is going to have a heart attack and go with Princess. Mm -hmm. So I prayed. God don't let me down the field. I got two things I could do. I could get off the bike and leave it there let somebody run it over. My four corners journey is over. Mm -hmm. Or I could stay on my bike, gun it up the hill. Ain't no walking down the hill. Mm -hmm. Gun it up the hill and get out these people away because if they come across, it's too late for them to see, right? So he answered me. 
Mm-hmm. He said, let go. He, he asked me, he said, your, your life ain't on. Go on up the hill. We're going to find your sister. So I went up the hill, found a band and gas station. Um, VA, um, Hennessy had done text the address. I'm 15 minutes from. Wow. You know, as opposed to two hours. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So now I'm going to call my business manager, boss man. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm screaming it, screaming, crying, whatever, whatever. Now I don't call her. Yeah, call me. Why would you leave me? Why would, Why would you, leave you leave me? me? I would never do that to you. You know, I'm cursing. I'm, you know what I'm saying? So. Hurt my feelings. Once, once I got on, back on my bike. Again, you got God. You believe in God. Yeah. Whatever happened, gonna happen, but you know what I'm saying? Anything can happen. Yeah. You know, you're, you're black girl. You're in Maine. You're by yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? White man pull up to the gas station. You won't supposed to leave, live to even tell this story. You see what I'm saying? I don't, I don't been involved in the racism, so I know it's still out there, especially where we was at. Mm-hmm. So I got back with them and we let a little adrenaline go by a couple of days and then we had shit out. Yeah. So that's what it was all about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's where the same thing in. Um, I would say when you're traveling with a group, everybody had each other's blunt in the event a situation like this happened. Yeah. And then also knowing the address to the next sister. Yeah. Which was that my helped. next question, advice. That helped. Yep. So that that would be perfect advice. Yes. Any other advice that you would give? Uh, uh, watch out for debris on the road. Because mm-hmm. on the way coming back, um, they almost they almost got me. <laughs> but a big piece of tire did hit my leg. Mm-hmm. I could have lost control of my bike, but I didn't. But I do have a gash on my leg. Just be careful for debris on the road. Wow. Yeah. That's what shaps come in. Sometimes. Yeah. I left, I left my home. And you know what? You, you as individuals have to understand each other, you know? Um, and I think along the ride, like maybe after Maine, we, when we passed it out in Montana, we got to know each other. Um, the feelings, all the emotions. I think that's the, that's the bigger part. I think a lot of people that they feeling, um, get the best of them when they ride. And you know, women go through a lot of emotions and things of that sort. So, you 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 hash that out and you put it under the rug and I like Princess because she 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 brought it to our attention on two different occasions how she felt and I and I appreciate her for bringing that to our attention say hey I didn't like this and I didn't like that and things of, of that sort right so that would make me a better person understanding how she feels because she said everybody's not like me Princess called me a man you know <laughs> she's she called me a man she she so, I feel she like does. I feel like if she was in the wilderness she wouldn't she would survive. You know, me, I'm probably proud. Well, we're going to go get this money off of um, you know Naked and Afraid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're going to put her yeah. on Naked and Afraid yeah, and go get this money, honey. You know what I'm saying? But she keeps saying, everybody not like you, John, but everybody not yeah, like she, you. So she, I, I, don't, she, I don't realize that because that's how I was brought up. Yeah. You know, you got to understand culture, too. Yeah. It's a culture thing. It's her background, my background, how we was brought up. So when you bring that with three people that's culturally different, yeah. our backgrounds are different, we got to yeah. understand one another. So I understand how she is. You know, I thought she was a thug. Um, she's not a thug. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I mean, <laughs> you know, she's a thug, you know, this is a thug. <laughs> you know, but I know that about her and I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little bit more easy with her now that I understand. Know, understand. Right. understand. Right. 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 I live. I'm not spoiled. I say you ain't spoiled on this trip because I ain't your mama. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm not your mom and your sister, okay? I survived princess on this trip. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a good one. Yeah, Naughty <laughs> brought in on. That's, that's a good one. She didn't know. Yeah. But at the what end of the about? day, mm. it brought unity and yes. love. You know, yeah. me, if you guys know, I come from a very large family. I don't have friends. I don't need friends. My mom has 15 kids. I'm Ooh. child number 12. My father has six. Bro, you know, I don't have friends, don't need friends. But when people come into my life, I truly love them. You know, these are my sisters. These are my win sisters. So I, I have a bond that I have formed with them that no one can take away. Absolutely. No matter what. Yeah. You know, I'm hard, but you know, I still have that soft side of me at the end of the day. Sure does. <laughs> she's, like, she, she's very loving. She's yeah, hard she and loving. Yep. Princess, any advice? Um, just, um, prepare. Prepare yourself mentally. Um, that ride alone, like whatever you're going through before you left, you sorted out out there on that road. There, there, those two wheels is something you, and to see the world, the United States on them two wheels, it's nothing like it. Um, if I had to do it all over again, I would. I really would. And I would definitely won't do it without these two ladies. Awesome. 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 Um, which would bring me to my next question. What, if any, would you change about this ride? 
I wouldn't change anything. The experience alone is what make our ride unique. Yeah. Right. That's what make you the person that you are as of today. I wouldn't change anything. You cannot control Mother Nature. Right. Mm -hmm. You know? So what we had to bear down, we planned this trip to have X amount of days off from our job. Right. So if you're on a time frame and saying, I, I got to do this in 10 days, well, that's those that want to risk their life. Yeah. We know we had 18, 19 days. We're mm -hmm. good. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't change yeah. anything. We, we did it in 11. You know, right. they we're gave us 21 days. Down. Down. 21 days to do it. Why, why are we rushing? We don't need to rush to kill ourselves. Yeah. You know, so. That's what's up. Last question. <laughs> what was your total mind? My total miles, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's another story. You can tell me. <laughs> I, I, think, I think I was at um, 12. 12,000? Once we finished with our tent in the Nice. 12,000. I, I took a picture of my dog. Wow. The last time I looked, it was 11. So I know it's 12 by now, by the time we still with him. Wow. Because it, it started over. I did trip B uh -huh. and zero. And once we got to Jacksonville, it, 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 Jacksonville, it turned, it turned over. over. Before you got to Jacksonville. Before I got to Jacksonville, I was I was at like 11, before Jacksonville. Because so she had to go and get a state line that she had. Yeah, yeah. yeah that what had happened was, <laughs> what had happened was one of our. How's she missing it? Y'all Okay, here. this is what had happened. <laughs> I'm going to give you the short version of it. Okay, I'm the second bite. Okay, I'm always in the middle. So Jawa was, was. Kept going, me and Naughty, Naughty Girl in the back. So my GPS telling me to go up the hill. So we go in the hotel. Mm. I forgot all about we getting signs as we go. So she knew Illinois sign is where she's at. Mm. I didn't know that. Remember, I ain't got nothing in my ear. Right. So I went up. I thought she was coming with me, but she stayed down. <laughs> so I got up. I went around. I said, you know what? I had the address to the hotel. Mm. I said, by the time... I get back to Naughty Girl, she might be gone. So I'm going to just go on to the hotel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I went on to the hotel. They was actually getting Illinois sign. The U-turn is Wisconsin sign. So it bothered me all night. Wow. You gotta get those two signs. You know why? I don't know when I'm coming back this way right. again. Right. That was why all that stuff I wanted to see. Yeah. But if we saw half the stuff I wanted to see, we wouldn't have made it. Yeah. We wouldn't have made it. So I got up that morning. It was like an hour drive. Mm -hmm. And I got up. I went and got my Illinois sign. I U-turned. I got the Wisconsin sign. But it's so unique. So you did that by yourself. Yeah, it was so unique. I wanted to get it, get it. So I had to go out, come back around, go bother this man in his car. Hey, sir, excuse me. Can you take my picture? Could you please take this picture? He like this. I <laughs> you, I'm black, He's Caucasian. You know what I'm saying? He's shaking. Wow. So he took like five pictures. They all had thumb in the, the picture. They all had the thumb in the picture. Thumb in it. I said, sir, your thumb was in the picture. You didn't mind taking three more. So he took three more. Out of the three more, I got one good. Wow. So that was the Wisconsin sign. It was yeah. it's, it's the most unique sign. And, and we'll definitely post pictures of that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I think I'm at ten thousand four hundred and something. Okay. Yeah. Not a rough piece. Okay. Nice. 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 Ladies, congratulations. Thank you, you guys are freaking amazing. As you can see, Miami has showed up for you. Um, you know, we were rooting for you again. I can't say that enough how proud we are of you. Thank you for letting me interview you guys. I love you. I love you. I love you, each and every one of you. I'm super proud of you. And you guys, again, have already been officially snapped. But they have officially snapped again. So thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. I love you, ladies. I love you. And I guess we'll be showing up. Showing up to show out. Thank you. Thank you guys for Thank tuning you. in. And I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Always remember to like the videos, share the videos, and please drop your comments below because these ladies deserve it. They deserve all of their accolades. They have did it. They have made their legacy. And we, again, are super proud of them here in Miami and all over the world. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.